the venerable don bosco the apostle of youth by m s pine chapter thirty three the salesian order in the united states eulogy of don bosco by his excellency the apostolic delegate it was under the saintly superior general don rua that the first salesian band of missionaries was organized for the united states the late archbishop riordan had appealed to don rua for priests to minister to the needs of the constantly growing numbers of italians in his archdiocese of san francisco california and on march eleventh eighteen ninety seven the society of st francis of sales was introduced into the city of the golden gate by the rev r m piperni and his associates who received charge of the church of saints peter and paul the next year an irish salesian the rev b c redahan was sent to assist them in their increasing field of labor the archbishop soon realized that another church was necessary in the southern portion of san francisco accordingly the church of corpus christi was erected and entrusted to the sons of don bosco the rev father cassini being its first rector in nineteen o two his grace deeply appreciative of the good wrought by the salesian fathers petitioned the superior general for another band accordingly don rua placed the rev fathers bergoretti and pavan at the disposal of the archbishop who gave them charge of st joseph's church in the portuguese settlement at oakland a new and magnificent church of saints peter and paul is in course of erection in san francisco by the salesian fathers the golden coast receives a monthly record of salesian events in the don bosco messenger published at their institute archbishop corrigan emulating the zeal of his brother prelate sought help from the society of st francis of sales for his large italian flock in november eighteen ninety eight the very reverend ernest coppo who is now provincial of the society in the united states with the reverend frederick barney and others received charge of the italians settled in and around st bridget's parish new york later his grace entrusted to the salesians the church of the transfiguration one of the oldest catholic churches in the united states and the church of mary help of christians both parishes have flourishing schools and festive oratories the first salesian college was opened in our country in nineteen o three under the auspices of archbishop now cardinal farley its principal aim being to foster vocations to the holy priesthood the fathers found a temporary home for their students in the old provincial seminary at troy new york but at a later period they were transferred to their present beautiful and healthy location at hawthorne in the outskirts of new york city where flourishes also the columbus institute at the present time nineteen sixteen there are about thirty priests carrying on the labors of the ministry in different parts of the united states who made their studies either in troy or hawthorne with the sons of don bosco in nineteen o nine the salesians opened a new parish church st anthony in the city of patterson new jersey here the salesian sisters are also established in nineteen twelve the church of our lady of the rosary at port chester new york was entrusted to the fathers their congregation consisting mainly of italians and poles on their arrival they found that one hundred and seventy-eight italian families were separated from the church by a half hour's distance and a few adults or children remain practical catholics the methodists discerning their advantage had rented a house and were carrying on a propaganda with success among the children the fathers after much thought and counsel with zealous members of the congregation proposed the erection of a chapel to be built in the midst of the half-hour away colony the pious thought soon became a beautiful little stone reality at a cost of five thousand dollars and now the little edifice is overcrowded every sunday with a fervent congregation while the methodist rooms bear a familiar sign 
to let at the desire of the zealous archbishop pendergast of philadelphia the silesian fathers opened a don bosco institute in that city on august fifteenth nineteen fourteen this house composed of three brick buildings of three stories each was formerly the drexmore but the owners the honorable and mrs edward morell prominent in the catholic life of philadelphia for their charities generously bestowed it upon the silesian fathers for their social work in which they follow the broad line so wisely laid down by don bosco for winning and training the young a printing school has been in progress for over a year and from its presses the don bosco messenger has issued monthly a chronicle of events of interest in the silesian world and many others of import in the larger world at the small sum of fifty cents a year a delightful charitable offering since it helps to feed and clothe the poor little ones of christ the rev peter Cattori, formerly identified with the don bosco institute in italy and later director of columbus institute hawthorne new york is the guiding spirit of the silesian works in philadelphia early in nineteen fifteen another don bosco institute was inaugurated at ramsey new jersey for polish boys a high school also has been established especially for those desiring to study for the priesthood the silesian missions in the united states have advanced with the years through the indefatigable labors of the fathers hampered though they have been in their zealous efforts to carry out to the full the noble projects of don bosco by the lack of pecuniary resources our people have not yet learned the advantages spiritual and temporal to be derived from union with the society of st francis of sales as cooperators or we should not see these religious priests destined for such extensive boy saving enterprises scattered as they are in a few parishes without even a novitiate to shelter aspirants to the saint forming rule of don bosco without a house of studies where their youthful clerics may pursue amid the quiet scenes of nature their final course of philosophy and theology urged on daily more and more to the attainment of heroic virtue by the holy examples of their predecessors this is a consummation devoutly to be wished can we not compass it for the glory of god and for the coming generation so shall the sons of don bosco train their thousands of knights of christ and upright citizens of our great republic many earnest applications are made to the silesian fathers for foundations in the united states and if the personnel were not wanting few of our large cities would be without a don bosco institute my readers will appreciate a personal letter which speaks with a power of which i am incapable continue therefore in your apostolic task spread might and main the knowledge of don bosco's life let the american public open their eyes to this wonderful pedagogue writer preacher missioner statesman miracle worker of the nineteenth century let the people living in these irreligious days see what a poor helpless priest accomplished with the help of the most high and of mary help of christians would to god there were a don bosco in every large city throughout the world at the present time what an amazing transformation we should then see would to god we could quickly get the means to have a good novitiate here in the united states we need help from the public in every possible way but if we could launch out an appeal we would appeal just for missionaries men 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 behold the need behold the solution of the problem how shall we save the children how shall we restore the families to christian principles and practice let us daily implore almighty god to send laborers into his immense vineyard and now i close this imperfect study of a great apostle with the words of his excellency our apostolic delegate to the very reverend ernest copel on the occasion of the centenary of the venerable don bosco since four continents have felt the good effects of the beneficent influence of don bosco 
it is perfectly right that his memory should be solemnly recorded in all places and languages the confines of his native piedmont in italy were too narrow for the full play of his activity and hence his ardent and suave zeal urged him to seek the salvation of souls beyond the mountains and across the seas legions of priests and sisters his spiritual sons and daughters animated by his zeal and example has spread out over the world multiplying his miracles of charity in villages as well as in cities in africa and patagonia no less than in civilized countries churches colleges agricultural and industrial schools homes for the poor and missions for the conversion of the pagans have constituted their wide field of labor it would be next to impossible to recount all the works of charity wrought by the venerable don bosco and his spiritual children indeed they cannot be explained unless we recognize in them the hand of god and a singular protection of the blessed virgin mary who was his cherished patroness under the title of mary help of christians both church and state are indebted to him beyond measure while history should engrave on his memory that famous epitaph no eulogy is equal to his name 